bigger and more immediate than the threat of global warming, they say. Earth's magnetic field, which acts as our protective shield in space, has a hole in it. And that could put a lot of our earthly functions at risk. Dr. Michio Kaku, professor and author of the book Physics of the Impossible, is back with us. Professor, how are you? And good morning to you. Glad to be on the show. Uh, thanks. Twice in one week, man. It's bonus hour. Mm -hmm. What is this solar shield? Well, every 11 years, the sun has a temper tantrum. It releases a shock wave, a tsunami of radiation that could wipe out communication, weather satellites, GPS, uh, spy satellites, you name it, it's up there in outer Ooh, space. Whoa, so, you, so you're saying that my BlackBerry won't work? The internet, Fox, television, uh, cable, satellite, TV, all of it could get wiped out around 2012. That's when we have the peak of the sunspot cycle. That's when the sun's magnetic field flips. North Pole and South Pole flip, releasing a shock wave of radiation, which will then hit the Earth minutes later, potentially wiping out a good chunk of our satellite communications. We're watching it very carefully now. Well, doc, this happens how often, you say? Every 11 years. Well, However, why, why an 11-year cycle? It takes 11 years for the magnetic field of the sun to build up enough intensity to begin the flip process because it slowly uh, revolves in a circle. It's like winding up the windings of a clock. If you wind up the mainspring of a clock too much, it boy -oy 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 comes out of control. Same thing with the sun's magnetic field. It literally flips every 11 years, releasing a shock wave of radiation. And that means we have to start to think about reinforcing our satellites, building redundant systems, because it means that GPS, the power grid, weather satellites, communication satellites, satellite television, all of that could get disrupted, peaking around 2012. Well, so your point is we can't do anything about it in space, but we can do something back here on Earth. That's right. But ba backup systems, are companies really doing that? Well, they're going to have to do it because, see, we scientists made a mistake. We thought that the next cycle was going to be quiet. Well, some of our data was off by a factor of 20, and that's why we're issuing this alert now. We made a mistake. The next cycle, peaking around 2012, will be much more serious than we previously thought. Now, in the past, we dodged the bullet because we didn't have that many satellites up there 11, 22 years ago. Back in 1990, we didn't have that many space satellites. Well, that, that makes sense to me. But, you know, I'm listening to you talk. I'm thinking, why 2K? I'm thinking it's all just, it's just a tactic that put a lot of fear in a lot of people. It, it may have gotten us ready, but there was really no danger in the end. Well, let's hope that it's a dud. Let's hope that nothing happens. However, what if? What if our communication systems are wiping, wiped out? Billions of economic activity could be do you, think any, do you think anyone's taking this seriously? I think we're going to have to. The physicists are now sounding the alert. We made the mistake. We made the wrong projection. The next solar cycle will be more intense than previously thought. And an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Now's the time to begin to create redundant systems, reinforce our satellites, I got build backup All systems. Right. Michio Kaku, the word is out. You know, if you render my BlackBerry useless, that's okay. I mean, you're allowed. Do that for a while, then we'll bring it back. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Nice to know. Meg? Love him. Were He's you listening? great. Yes. You were? Yes. What did he say? just messed it up, what and now they say? have to fix it. And <laughs> he talked about the Department of Redundancy Department. Uh -huh, right. So magnetic fields, <laughs> yeah, polar opposites, we fix sun, it down Earth. Here. Right? What's going to happen? 11, 11 years apart. 2012 is the next one. Okay. So the last one was minor. So the scientists are to blame for that because they underestimated the power. And they think this time it could be the big one. I think he is the most understandable physicist I've uh, ever had the okay. pleasure of listening to. Am I wrong? Do you guys love him? I think we should make him a Fox News contributor. I've just decided it. All right, well, I want you to stop worrying about your job and your 401k. I want you to quit fretting about those college bills and those utility bills. I want you to stop worrying about any bills. I want you to stop. Why? Because you're wasting your time. That's why. In case you haven't heard, the world is going to end in 2012. Specifically, December 21st, 2012. Talk about a bummer Christmas, but I digress. Apparently, the ancient men predicted this centuries ago something about a long Mayan count calendar that measures 5,126 years, and wouldn't you know it, it resets in 2012. Early biblical codes in the Old Testament also point to some cataclysmic event in 2012. There's even a book out on the subject that's quickly climbing the charts, The Complete Idiot's Guide to 
2012. I was reading in the New York Post this past weekend, there's this Belgian dude who's already quit his job and just started taking these really cool trips. The best thing you can do now, he says, is stop working and go on vacation. And if he's right, don't fuss with that American Express bill to pay for it because things will start getting very weird very soon. There will be an increase in solar activity that will cause the Earth's magnetic poles, I'm told, to reverse in December 2012. Then get ready for nice things like earthquakes and floods and more than half the world eventually frozen over, except for much of Africa, which should dodge the doom then. So look to Africa as a fantastic real estate buy right now. End of the world panics, of course, have been predicted before. One had it that in the year 1000 AD, Jesus Christ would return and he wouldn't be happy. Well, he might not have been happy, but he didn't return then. Maybe in 2012, who knows? This much I do know. If the world is but three years away from being a memory, Maybe make those visa bills a memory, too. A good foreclosure takes years, so maybe stop paying your mortgage, too. Frankly, I think Congress already figured this out. No wonder they're spending so much without a thought about how they're going to pay for it. They know they won't have to. So we might as well just spend it and party, well, like it's 1999, plus 13.